Hey everybody, it's Tamiko, and um, I wanted to come on and say hi and thank you all, everyone, for all of the love and comments and congratulations for my big chop. I am overwhelmed, lovingly overwhelmed, by everybody's comments. It's just been crazy. I've gotten interview requests and um, just t people telling me that I've inspired them to do the big chop. And I'm just beside myself with excitement. So I wanted to come on and just say thank you to everybody with this video and to show you my hair because I just came from a photo shoot with the very famous photographer extraordinaire Derek Blanks and um, he was in town and I wanted to capture my uh, my new haircut and he graciously accepted to shoot me uh, take my pictures today so my makeup is courtesy of Reggie Dowdley and my hair as you all know was done by Felicia Leatherwood who was on set tonight to make sure it was coiffed perfectly so I figured I had this hair done, I have this makeup done, I should come on here and do a video while I'm looking kind of cute. Um, and I also wanted to just clarify something because there were some comments about my hair having been short at one time in the past. And yes, years and years ago, probably over 12 years ago, my relaxer needed to be cut out. My hair was breaking. I was actually suggested by a doctor that I no longer relax my hair because it was really damaged and so I did the big cut but it wasn't as short as this and um, I wasn't nearly as happy about it. The, uh, the experience was not good for me because I wasn't embracing my natural self. So um, for those of you that are going through the transition and are having a difficult time with it, I get it. I understand it. It is not easy. But for me, my personal choice, actually having my hand forced in the beginning because my hair was breaking, but then throughout the years, I just found that I like my hair better in its natural state. But I've used weaves, I've used wigs, I've used many different types of hairstyles for work, but um, this is what I'm doing right now. So I wanted to shout out again, Miss Felicia Leatherwood. Thank you so much. And I know it's kind of hard to see the cut with the dark stuff behind me. So this is a trick I learned photography. Put something white behind you so you can see it. And um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I just did my first photo shoot with it. The pictures are ridiculous. Derek Blanks, you are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as soon as I get them, I'm going to post them. I'm shooting with Matthew Jordan Smith on Monday. I'm just documenting this hair, documenting this new me. And I want to just encourage all of you ladies that are working to transition your hair or considering a big chop, make sure you're doing it for yourself. Make sure that you feel comfortable with it. Make sure that you can stand tall with your new do, whether it be going natural or a big chop or getting a teeny weeny afro or TWA like I have. Whatever it is that you decide to do, make sure you're doing it for yourself so that whatever feedback you get, whether it be negative or positive, you won't be rocked because um, you are doing it for you. So <sighs> I'm going to go to sleep now. It's been a long day. It's after midnight. But I wanted to come on and say thank you all so much for the love. I really appreciate it. I love my natural hair. I love my teeny weeny afro. And um, hopefully you'll be seeing more of me with my teeny weeny afro. Have a good night. Bye.